I've and, been head over heels in love with women yeah. and left them and never yep. got them back and they never yep. knew. Yep. That's life. That's, That's how it, it goes. I've been That's head it. over heels in love with women. I didn't want to lose them and they weren't listening. So I walked away and they didn't chase me and I lost them, but that's it. My honor's intact. My pride's intact. And now I don't give a fuck anymore because time's a healer. That's life. So exactly. it's better than staying in a relationship, which I'm not happy in because she starts acting like a fucking fool. And it's yep. kind of like, I use chess analogies a lot, but it's kind of like chess. If you're in, if you're in, you're playing a game of chess and you're in a losing position and the only hope you have of winning is a big sacrifice. You give up your queen and you don't know if it's going to work or not, but it's the only hope. You're better off making the sacrifice even if you lose. Because if you don't, you're just going to slowly get ground down and definitely lose in the end. Right. Like, do you, do you love that pussy so much you'd rather delay the breakup by seven months and lose without any pride or honor? Yeah. And leave without any pride or honor while she cheats on you? Isn't it better just to say right hand in the air, you're not talking to that guy anymore? Like, yeah. it, 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 the end is coming. If she chooses to talk to that dude over you, the end is certain. So can you have enough balls to just say bye and at least leave with your head held high? But right. this is another thing, man. It's, it's crazy. These, these men have never been through any kind of emotional trauma. So the idea of breaking up with a woman is, is big to them. I've, I've, I've been through, when you've been through real shit, a breakup just doesn't become that real anymore. You know, I've had people try to kill me. I have stab wounds. Tell me again about this girl who doesn't text you back. Like, who gives a shit? Like, there's, there's, be, like, there's people in Syria getting bombed. Yeah. You know, like you have to get some perspective and just realize you're being like there's there's real trauma out here in the world. Terrible things happen day after day. And here you are alive and breathing and perfectly healthy and you're going to cry over some bitch. Just man up. It's, they have no they have no experience of emotional trauma so they can't handle just telling a girl goodbye. It's it's insane. Yeah. Doesn't matter how many there are, it matters about are you getting value from the relationship. A lot of men I feel like aren't respected in their relationships. And I think respect is the key component of life as a man. If you don't feel respected, you don't feel like a man. The, the, the feeling respected and feeling like a man are basically the same thing. If you look at how it works. Oh, people respect him. Why? He's big, he's strong, he's rich, he's successful. But he feels like a man is respect. If your exactly. woman is constantly disrespecting you, then I don't think you should be married to her. And if yep. you have 10 women who disrespect you, I don't think you should be with any of them. So it's not about numbers. It's not about numbers. It's about value. You're giving value. You need to receive value. And, you know, we can go down the whole gender role path and blah, 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 and how it's changed in the West, et cetera, et cetera. But I truly think you need to sit there and go, okay, what would I like from a relationship? Mm. And am I providing enough for her for me to get it? So I have a little anecdote I always say to my women. I, like you noticed about half an hour ago, she just brought me a coffee. So my women break, bring me coffee at random all the time. And they go, why do I do that? And I said, because if anyone ever broke in this house, I'd be the one putting my life on the line to protect you. You set your own standards as a man. And if, you know, if your woman's treating you like shit, but you don't leave, she's going to keep treating you like shit. So it doesn't matter how many you have, friend. You can have one woman if she's the best woman in the world, good. It's a matter yep. of what are you truly getting from that relationship? That's the key to it all. So here's the truth about male-female relationships. Women fuck men they respect. Mm -hmm. That's it. They don't fuck men they like. They don't, they don't fuck men they love. They fuck men they respect. If she loves you and likes you and doesn't respect you, she will not have sex with you. I have women who respect me and fucking hate me, but they're here every time I call. <laughs> so if they respect you, they're going to sleep with you. Yeah. And this is something that's biological and evolutionary. They fuck men they respect. So how do you make women respect you? Well, first, you have to be worthy of respect as an individual. There's no hack. If you're worthy of respect, you're worthy of respect. But secondly, you cannot allow blatant disrespect. So if you allow her to blatantly disrespect you and you tolerate that, then you're setting a precedent, which means, well, why would I respect this guy in the first place? Yeah. I say this to guys all the time. I've, I've had loads of guys who come to me for like coaching and stuff. And they say, you know, my woman doesn't respect me, da, 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 da. And I say, look, it's much harder to fix something that's broken than just never let it go wrong in the first place. Right. So from the second you got together, you should have been a man and you can be, you haven't got to be an asshole. You haven't got to be aggressive. I'll sit with a girl and very politely say, look, if we're going to be in a relationship, if I'm going to take you seriously, you're not going to have male friends. If you want to hang around with a whole bunch of men, then yes. I'm not going to take you seriously. What do you mean you won't take me seriously? I mean, I mean, we can fuck, but I'm not going to be, I'm never going to look at you as serious material. So yeah. it, it's the, the idea, the decision is on you. If you want to be serious, you're not going to talk to those guys. You want to talk to those guys? I'll fuck you sometimes. You, you decide. And I lay it on them. Now, if they choose to keep all their male friends, then that means she's chosen these friendships over me, which means sooner or later she was going to cheat anyway. Like how long until she jumps on a new dick anyway? So why yeah. would I even be upset about it? But most men are too scared to just put the ultimatum down. 
And not you haven't got to put the ultimatum down in some scary, big, brash way. Just be clear. Look, any woman I'm with who I take seriously doesn't hang around with other men. So yep. it's, it's your choice. And, and this is the point. But most men don't say anything. They let it slide and they let it get completely broken. And they come to me and say, well, how do I fix it? It's like, well, you have to make it not let it get broken in the first place. You need to understand your boundaries and expectations as a man. And you have to set them and you have to make sure she complies and sticks to them. And if she doesn't, you're going to have to find somebody else. Yep. And this is another thing I talk about being a playboy. I have lots of guys come to me and say, oh, Tate, but I don't want to be a playboy like you. I say, look, if you want to be happily married, the best thing you can be first is a playboy. Yeah. The best thing you can do because you're going to learn a whole bunch about women. You're going to have a yep. whole bunch of choices to choose for a wife. If you're stuck with one option, the one chick you met, yeah. you know, then it's, she might be a dickhead. Some women are just dickheads, you know? Yep. You know, some women have been fucked too hard too many times by too many big, scary guys, and they just don't want to listen no more. So, like, being a playboy is important. But, yeah, absolutely. For, for setting your boundaries and stuff and making sure you're not respected, the key is this. Is, and this is the bottom, bottom, bottom line. Most men are not prepared to walk away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. And if you're not prepared to walk away, you don't have any weapons. Exactly. If she knows no matter what, you won't leave – then what weapons do you have? Anything you say, shouting, screaming, yelling, go, going out away for a few days, whatever. She knows you're going to come back. She, you have no weapons. The second, imagine a girl came to you and she said, no matter what you do, no matter how many times you cheat, no matter what, da, 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 I will never, never leave. Right. Think of all the shit you do. <laughs> Think of what, I know I do. Yeah. So this is the point. So as a man, if you're never prepared to walk away, you're never going to be respected. Respect. And the woman thinking, you know what? He might just leave me. Yeah. Are linked. They have to be there. So you have to mean what you say. You have to let her know, look, there's some things I won't tolerate. And if you fuck with me, I'm going to walk away. And if you walk away and she doesn't chase you, then, then she's gone. At yeah. least you saved yourself a fucking nasty divorce and getting cheated on and all that shit. Just end it then and there and save yourself a bunch of time. But men are too afraid to, to pull the plug on it because they get addicted to the pussy and they don't believe they can get any more pussy and... They get all messed up. And this is one of the advantages of being a playboy. I can leave any chick because I, I, got, I got 10 more. Yeah. So if she doesn't act right, I'll just replace her for the night. And I'll feel better by the next day. I go through a breakup a week. I'm used to it. Yeah. I don't give a shit. And it's just like this is part of the game. So you have to be prepared to walk away as a man. So you have to look at any relationship you're in and say, okay, I'm a nice guy. I love her. She loves me. But I have boundaries. And if she fucks with them, I'm going to have to walk away. And that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're never going to be respected.